Hello everyone, welcome to Motivation Medicos. My name is Pulkit Gupta and in this video we are going to study a very interesting mnemonic to remember the enzyme inhibitor as well as enzyme inducers. So these mnemonics are going to be very important or basically very helpful for uh, to understand the general pharmacology as well as uh, in the whole pharmacology these two mnemonics are going to be very helpful. So without wasting time, let's get started. So the first mnemonic which we need to study is the enzyme inhibitors. So mnemonic you have to remember is the vitamin K cannot cause enzyme inhibition. You just have to remember the simple mnemonic that vitamin K cannot cause enzyme inhib inhibitions and you will be able to tell all the inhibitors that is uh, from V it is valproate, from K it is ketoconazole, from C it is cimetidine, from another C it is ciprofloxin, from E it is erythromycin, from I that is INS that is isoanazide. Ison Azide. So these are the enzyme inhibitors. So why to remember the enzyme inhibitors? What they do? Actually, these uh, enzyme inhibitors. Suppose let's take an example of warfarin. You know warfarin. If we take, uh, you will take uh, warfarin. It will go into the liver, and in the liver it will get metabolized. Now how these drugs metabolize? They get metabolized by a drug. Uh, by enzyme that is cytochrome P450 that is cytochrome uh, that is cytochrome P450 so this cytochrome P450 basically so if we give this uh, inhibitor if we give this inhibitor what they do they inhibit this enzyme so if this enzyme is inhibited the uh, the warfarin will not able to metabolize so its level the warfarin level will be increased so increased level of warfarin will cause toxicity so that's why uh, warfarin should not be given uh, with these drugs that is uh, valproate ketoconazole cimetidine ciprofloxacin erythromycin and isoanazide now let's talk about the enzyme inducers inducers now let's talk about the enzyme inducers and the mnemonic to remember this drug is the GPRS cell phone you know there is a GPRS in the cell phones so you just have to remember this one that is GPRS cell phone it's a very interesting mnemonic from G it is grisofulvin from P phenytoin from R the fampicin from S it is smoking and from C it's car carbamazepine and from P that is phenobarbitone so very interesting and very uh, easily you can remember the enzyme inducer that is by a mnemonic that is GPRS cell phone, grisofulvin, phenytoin, from R, rifampicin, from S, smoking, from C, carbamazepine, and from P, that is phenobarbitone. You can under understand this also from uh, the same, same example that is uh, from the warfarin. In case of warfarin, uh, you know it metabolizes in the liver. So it metabolizes, uh, as you know, in the liver. So you know uh, the responsible is for this cytochrome P450 is responsible for the, its metabolism. So now these drugs that is GPRS cell phone, these uh, drugs will uh, induce this uh, cytochrome P450 due to which this warfarin will be metabolized uh, more and will be excreted from the kidney, will be excreted from the into the urine. So that will basically what it will do, it will decrease its activity. It will going to decrease its activity. That's why uh, we cannot also give warfarin with the any enzyme inducers. So these two uh, mnemonic you have to remember that is vitamin K cannot cause enzyme inhibition and the, for the inhibition and for the inducer you just have to remember that is GPRS cell phone. From these two simple mnemonic you can uh, understand this a simple topic of the enzyme inducers enzyme inhibition. Thank you guys. If you like this video please like share subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.